So today's project is we're going to make candy cane slime. And my assistant over here, my daughter, is going to help me by measuring things out so that it's easier for you to be able to see exactly how we make it. Hello. So the recipe that I'm using is from my friend surviving a teacher's salary. Um, I'm gonna modify. I'm gonna modify it some, but um, her son actually made this recipe, and I'll link to that in the description. Um, and the first thing it says to use is half a cup of liquid glue. Now the nice thing about that is with glue, you don't really have to measure it out because four ounces is half a cup. So I can just put this entire four ounce container of glue right here. Now what kind is best? I've always been a fan of Elmer's. Okay. I don't know if Elmer's is best, but I've always been a fan. The next thing I need from you is half a cup of shaving cream. Half so cup. I gave you a quarter cup, so what do you need to do? One quarter, so half, so one fourth, so half of one fourth would be two fourths. You do two fourths, yeah. And go ahead and make sure I get a good half cup there. Good. There's one half. Oh, <laughs> it stuck. <laughs> You're going to need a spoon to get that out in case you wonder. Watch just your fingers if you don't mind getting messy. I don't want to get messy. Here well, you go. Yeah, but... Another one. Alright. I gave you a little extra because I the bottom of the last cup was empty. So. Hold that for me. Alright, we're going to mix this really well. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to need is one half of a cup of the foam hand soap. So you're going to you're gonna take that foam hand soap and squeeze it into the measure, no, squeeze oh. it into the measuring cup so it's all foamed up. Okay. Don't listen to my advice. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to mix this together really well is what the advice is. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is add in one tablespoon of cornstarch. And then it says we're going to mix that well again. Lots and lots of mixing! Yeah. I'm alright with that if I get nice fluffy slime though. Next, we're going to add pumps. So I'm just, just give me the whole thing of lotion because it's just three pumps. One, two, three pumps of lotion and then desired food coloring. I'm not going to use food coloring for this first batch because this is our white. Ooh, what I am going to use is this pure peppermint extract. What I did is I grabbed the extract the peppermint at um, Walmart and if you go into like the wedding section you can get it for cheaper than if you buy it over in the food and recipe section you save about two dollars and we're gonna do two capfuls oh my gosh i wish you guys could smell it it smells like christmas in here right now all right for our next part we actually have to move that out of the way because we've got to mix with this water you've got to put in one teaspoon of borax. So honey, if I can have that borax. We're gonna do one teaspoon borax. And then you're gonna mix that together really well. We're doing a lot of mix really well. Have you noticed that? And now it says we're gonna add this one spoon at a time until we get the slime consistency that we want. Okay. So we're starting to get more of a slime consistency. Oh, look at that. It's starting to get more slimy. 
So we're just going to move that in there. I'm going to try one more tablespoon. Let's see if that'll get us where we need to be. Okay, we've definitely reached a fluffy slime area. So there is our white peppermint slime. I'm probably going to put in one more tablespoon just because it's still a little sticky. And there we have it. Peppermint white slime. Now we're going to do the same process and then I'll just bring you in when we go ahead and change out and add food coloring. Okay, so we're on to the red part of it, and we're actually going to up our peppermint because we noticed that it lost a bit of the smell. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then I need the red food coloring, please. How many? I'm just going to go until I get the red I like. I can't even pretend to tell you how many drops. It's just go until you get the red that you like because red and white, oh, you know what that does. You never know how much you're going to need really. Exactly. Too much, it's too red, it's too little, it's pink. Well, we got pink now, so you want to come over my shoulder and add in some more red for me? Oh. Just squeeze that bad boy until we get a nice red. I feel like I'm making icing. <laughs> what do you think? Good for a candy cane or a little more red? Oh, I'd like three more drops. That's perfect. So you got a nice pink, but I mean most candy canes aren't a solid red anyway. I'm going to move over and we're going to do our borax solution until we get the consistency of slime that we need. And if, recipe is very like uh, get add as much as you can until you get what you want. Well, the core things need to be the same. The only things you can really change are the borax, the coloring, the mint. But just have fun with it. It's probably good for kids during Christmas time too. Especially it since it's not too sticky, so it might be good for fidgeting too. Well, and it's just a fun science project to do with the kids or just a for fun project. Um, we're going to add in, I think, a little more because it's a little too sticky. There we go. As you notice, you start to get more of a slime look. And I'll. Alright, so your next step when you're doing your candy cane slime. And I went ahead and I picked up these tins at uh, the dollar store. They have a nice little, they have a lid that you can Oh. You're going to go, you got about that much of your red slime. And you're going to get about the same amount of your white. I suggest, remember old school rolling things out like a snake? Same thing here. And then you're just going to take it, put it side by side, mm -hmm. and twirl until you get a nice candy cane looking pattern. Oop. You don't drop it like I did. Then you're just going to roll it around itself so you kind of get that peppermint candy look. And then all of that is going to go right here into your little tin. Throw your lid on it. Tin, tin. Throw your lid on it and you got yourself a nice little candy cane peppermint flavored slime. And you cannot eat it. I mean peppermint scented slime. This is not edible because of the borax. Do not eat this slime. 